everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. In this episode I'd like to do bees but there was one or two things I just forgot to do at the end of the last episode. Uh, one of them was to drink some bad booze but before I do that I'm going to just knock this wall down. This is actually the easiest way to knock this stuff down is to use the excavator. Oops if I don't throw it on the floor that is. Because it does all blocks so it will down blocks and they go. I won't do the excavator and I'll just use an ordinary block on that one and then go and put this away somewhere now what i'm going to do is i'm going to drink the sale <laughs> and it's going to be very nasty it should be very nasty it's 0.34 quality but just in case that, that goes wrong and i'm going to die i'll just take some elixir with me that's elixir regen that we made last time so let's just drink this and see what happens so i'm suffering poison inebriated nausea and, uh, and that's not very good is it so if we drink some of the regen now it'll help with my regeneration in fact while I'm staggering over here I'll go and stand by the bees because the bees are also going to help me with regeneration like this yeah I should be getting some regen from the bees as well as from the, from the thing as you can see purple bubbles so if I look at that one so I've got a regeneration for 20 seconds so i'm just about to finish being poisoned <laughs> but when i finish being poisoned i'm still going to be in um you see this poison's gone off now so I'm, my regen's going up so what i'm going to do is uh, <laughs> i'll stand like this you can see me swinging around i'll come back in a few minutes when it's regen's finished see you later all right i'm back so, not, I'm still inebriated, but at least I'm getting a bit of regen from the bees. Uh, that is one of the good things about bees, especially in this pack, is you do get regen from them. So, but what I'd like to do is start from the beginning with bees, because they're fairly, they're actually very simple. I used to think they were really complicated, but they're actually really easy. So let's start with this. First thing you have to go and do is find a hive. Now, between, epi well, between episodes, I found a couple of hives over there. So let's go and have a look at these hives. What you need are two things with you you need the smoker which is this thing here which calms wild bees and the recipe for that is actually not so cheap i suppose it's got six five ting five ingots of tin two leather and a flint and steel which is another iron and flint isn't it so that's it's not that cheap and you also need a scoop now this scoop i've got here is a enchanted scoop with mending so let's carry on go find these bees I've actually got them marked in black. I went to a creative mode and flew around in the night time to find if I could find some for you. So they ain't too far away. What you have to do is you have to make sure you've got your smoker in your hand. Where are they now? Just over there. 79 blocks and 48. We're going to look at the. Maybe we'll go to the 79 because the 48 ones are going to be in, this, in the air because they're forest bees. Here we go. So, so let's make sure we're smoking. You can see these are forest bees because they're blue. And there's the hive there. So we point this at the hive and those should go back into the hive. You can see them going into the hive like that. And when they've gone into the hive, we can then take the scoop and scoop up the hive. Right, that looks like it's reasonably safe. Now they've gone off. So let's just take this and left click the hive. We pick up the bits and pieces. So what do we pick up? You don't. Oh yeah, we've got a, a pristine princess, which is excellent, as it happens. Let's go and have a look at the other one, which is should be a... Um, now, where's it gone to? I've got to just find it. 46 blocks that way. Which should be a meadows. So let's go over there and get the smoker in our hand. There we are. You can see the black, you can see the black marker I put on it. So we, we come along here, keep smoking this thing till we see the bees go back inside. If you break it, when the bees they will give you a nasty sting and you lose about five or six hearts quite a lot actually so we'll try not to do that and of course the worst ones are things like uh, the ones with poison which are tropical bees from the jungle so now we should be able to break this what do we get this time so we got a, a meadows princess again pristine that's very really good actually now the difference between pristine and ignoble which is the opposite are basically 
the only difference is one lives forever and the other one dies off after a while. Now, after a while means probably generating about 200 drones or something like that. Oh, have I got my... Yes, I've got my jetpack with me. Oh, glider. <laughs> it's the glider. It's the jetpack in this pack anyway, so I'll fly with this one. Go back home quicker. So, and then you start with these two breeds. And you've got to breed, start breeding these up. So the first... Oops. That was a bit strange, wasn't it? Like that. So you've got to start breeding these up. So what you need, first of all, you need a bee house. Because you're not going to be able to make the next one up, which is these, which are... I need to get off, don't I? Which are apries. Now, let's look at the recipe. I've got a bee house with me here. The recipe for bee house, you need one comb. So by breaking those bees, we got one comb anyway. And then you can get them from villages as well. So you need five planks and three slabs. Fairly cheap. But the next one up is the apiary. So let's have a look at the recipe for this. I think I've still got rust rustic in it. Let's have a look at forestry. So we want an apiary. They've actually got three different types of beehive in this pack. I can't spell it. Um, should be at the top of it. Let's see why I can't see it. What's that? Minecart with apiary. So there's an apiary recipe. So we, in this case, we need an impregnated casing. And again, it's the same thing, planks and slabs. So the recipe for the impregnating casing is what a set eight planks with some oil. Seed, mostly seed oil as it happens, but you can use olive oil as well, but I didn't realize that. So it's a quarter bucket of that. So you then get your impregnated casing. And then you can make one of those. And the main difference between those and these is this one. Let's put it down, first of all. I've got to put it down. Let's put this hive down. Bee house down here. Did you actually get more produce from the beehive? This is the beehive here. At uh, the bee house. So you put your king, your drone, and your princess in here, and it'll produce the output in here. On the apiary side, you've got three more slots, which we'll show. Have a look at those now because I've got some already prepared from some villages. So these are proven frames. Actually, they're proven frames with mending because they're going to cost at least um, one emerald. I think our cheapest I got was two emeralds for three. So they're, they're reasonably expensive, but I can go and, I can go and get these charged up. Turn on this XP. Get rid of my XP and then come along here and fill it up. And that'll do, if I put it in my offhand as well, it'll do both, it'll do two at once. So when one's done, you just clip it off and you repair, repair the next one like this. So I did my AFK fishing for this, by the way. So I did lots of AFK fishing for the um, for the mending enchant. Of course, I could have just used books on an enchanter, but that's not always the easiest of things. Look at the last one here. That's run out. I'll have to it's floating around so if I, can't, I can't get into the right place for this so just repair these things like that now this should be repaired if I can catch the wherever they've gone to <laughs> I just want to repair this one then we can carry on with that again Right, they're all repaired now, so I can put these back into here. And I need these to go. I really do need these actually working quite full time because these are the these are the actual next stage bees that I've got in here. And of course, I've got one in my off hand, so I have to get that out of that. Like that, and they can carry on working. So bee breeding is actually very simple. Oh, there it is. So what you have to do with bee breeding is you have. Let's look at the recipes for this, for example, or the uses of it. So you can trade it with a, a villager or bee breeding is the one we're interested in. So a forest princess with a meadows drone will produce a common bee. And that's also true for a modest, which you get from the desert. And also a tropical, which you get from the jungle. So we've got a winter, which you get from the extreme biomes, the cold biomes, marshy from swampland. And then you come up to the next level here. And what happens is each when you, these are common bees or mundane bees with the two mundane bees together you'll get the common 
And the next level up is you take the common plus the mundane bee and it will give you the cultivated. Um, if you look for the recipe of cultivated, you'll see you've got common plus something else and this will be the, the, the six different types of bees that we've got in the, the pack here. will give you the cultivated. But it's not quite as simple as that. Uh, it's, it's generally as simple as that. So let's look at this one here. The use of this Meadows Princess is slightly different. It says, of course, we've got a forest in here. We've got a Meadows and a, and a Modest gives you a common. A meadows and Tropical gives you a common. Which is fairly good. You're getting all the same ones. But where is it now? The third page of this. And it says, a Meadows with a Forestry gives you a, a Leperine. If I spell that, if I pronounce that right. And then you've got a wintry princess with a meadow gives you a tipsy. And a meadows with a diligent gives you a rule. Now, I haven't done diligence. Diligence come later on. Because after you've reached... Uh, let's get these let's get these two into, into here, for example. Let's put them into a bee house. So we put the forest princess in here, plus the, the meadows drone. And that will then start to produce bees. It probably won't work here because it's under this tree. And it'll tell me. It'll say sky obstructed. So what you have to do, of course, you have to break this thing. You get your bees back, and this time I got a, a forest queen because it, they went together, didn't they? To produce a queen. So, what I have to do now is you can analyze these as well. And I probably should have done that first of all. I think I have put stuff in my chest. I'm not sure where I put everything at the moment. Let's have a look. Ah, here we are. I've got my analyzer with me like this. Now the analyzer is actually quite expensive. Let's have a look at the recipe for this one. So it's one diamond, two pieces of redstone, four pieces of tin and two pieces of glass in a carpenter with some water in it, two buckets of water. The water is obviously not expensive but the, the diamond isn't some in this pack anyway. Redstone is not too bad. The, the tin's fine. And that'll make a, a portable analyzer. And then the portal analyzer let's right click it you've got you put honey in here so obviously you have to to get honey you need to centrifuge comb so we've got some honeycomb here which in fact if i look at the recipes for this you can different types of comb so you've got parch comb which come from modest bees mossy comb that comes from um swamp bees which uh, and this one mysterious comb i'm not sure where that comes from to be honest with you but that will also give us, oh, it's quite a high one, isn't it? Because you've got a pulsating propolis, which is basically enderpearls. And this one is the stringy comb that comes from industrious bees, powdery comb and honeycomb. So you can also look for this. Everything's in JEI. So the recipe for that is then your centrifuge carpenter. Now I want the centrifuge. Oh, yes, forest bees, meadows bees, commons bees cultivated bees and tricky bees or of giving you this one <laughs> tricky bee also gives you these as well now i don't think it's actually possible to do this tricky print to do this because the recipe for that is a sinister plus oh maybe because a sinister bee comes from the cultivated plus modest bees okay that shouldn't be too difficult to do but that comes much later on so we need lots of bees to start with one of the things they always tell you about bees is that you need a lot of drones of a particular type i'm asking why do you need a lot of drones nobody have explained it to you so i was thinking out why do you need a lot of drones and the reason you need a lot of drones is so you can change a princess so for example here i've got this queen which we haven't analyzed yet let's just analyze this queen here so it's a forest in the forest it's got a shorter lifespan it's lowest the slowest producer so it produces least kind of honeycomb as possible it's slower than um for pollination but that's blue which means it's recessive i'm not sure what the uh, dominant gene for that one is but i think it'll show up later on it eats flat it needs flowers flowers are any minecraft flower really and it produces three offspring and its territory is average and it's got no effects and then it tells you about its tolerances so this one is a tolerant flyer and that means it can fly in the rain so when it's raining it'll fly diurnal means it flies at diurnal i think that's how it's pronounced i don't actually really know this means it flies in the day nocturnal means it flies at night cave dweller it flies if it, the sky is obstructed 
No. So that's this one. If you look at the, do the same for the Meadows Princess. It's also, this time it's almost the same. So it's got the shorter lifespan, the slowest production, slower pollination, flowers of eating two flowers, <laughs> likes flowers. Fertile, it only gives you two. Territory is average and it's got no effects. Let's go and have a look at a few more bees because I've got a few bees prepared because it takes a while to go and get these bees. So we've done these two here. Here's a wintry bee. Here's a, a modest bee. Here's a tropical drone. And that, I think, the other one was a swampy... Uh, is that tropical? Marshy. I want a marshy one, really. I don't know whether I've got any marshy ones. Huh. Have I got a marshy bee around somewhere? Probably. Here we go, a marshy drone. Let's go and have a look at these and see the thing. It's actually night time. I'm going to have a quick sleep and come back in a few seconds. I didn't want to freeze to death, so I thought I'd better have a quick sleep. So, right, let's have a look at these ones. So, so wintry drone. This is actually probably not pure. And I must have found this somewhere else. So let's go and find a pure wintry one. That was a bad choice, wasn't it? That's a hybrid. Um, maybe I've got a wintry one in wintry princess now that will be a, a pure one i think let's double check it indeed it is so it's lifespan short now it goes shortest short shorter normal uh longer longest i think something like that and you've got a slower producer it's it's, it's not the slowest it produces more honeycomb than the other ones pollination is the slowest it likes snow, which actually is flat, which are flowers, but it's got an, a fertility of four, which is very good as it happens. Territory averaging, it gives you a freezing effect, which I don't think makes too much difference in this pack, does she? <laughs> it's got tough as nails in, which makes life difficult anyway. So let's have a look at this modest drone now. Hopefully this modest drone is, no, it's a, it's a hybrid. Let's go and get another one of those out. I've probably got, I've probably got a modest princess in this one. Ignoble stop. Yeah, let's have a look at this one. That's better. So it's got a short lifespan and all the rest of it. So what it's got no no effects, but it's got two offspring and it likes cacti as a flower. It means you've got to put cactuses down for that one. Next one, marshy drone. Did I do that? No. So this is He's got some interesting thing properties in this one. It likes mushrooms. <laughs> it's a slower pollination. Basically, I think this will make mushrooms grow more rapidly in the area. A lifespan shorter, slowest, slower mushrooms. But they quite often have this tolerance for climate. So this climate is basically, it allows the, the heat to be one up and one down. So both directions. So it likes normal, so it basically means that can go to cold and hot, I think. But it likes it to be not damp. We haven't done this one, let's look at this one. Tropical bee. It's got this flower type jungle, which means vines. And it's poisonous. Average to earn the rest of these details. What's it got in the intolerances here? So it can go up. So that basically means it likes it damp which means it can go to drier things so it can possibly go into the desert i didn't look at the modest bee. let's have a look at the modest princess for what its climate is oh it likes hot yes and arid i'm not sure whether it arid is okay it'll go down one but we can't do hot we'll come to that later on i think i'm going to have to make more than one episode of bees because they're they're involved but they, they take a lot of time they don't, they're not complicated, but they do take a lot of time. So let's get on and take this bee, because we haven't crossbred it yet, and see what happens. I want to do, I want to get this bee cross, crossbreed this bee, the queen that we've got in here. So the idea is, so let's put it back into here now, it's because it's got no flowers. That'll disappear because there are plenty of flowers around, as you can see. And what this bee's going to do, it's not only going to, make some comb like this it's also going to make pollinate the trees so, and this is a pollinated tree and i've got my magic glasses on here my spectacles from forestry 
and they highlight these. If I take that off, you see it's not quite so obvious. It's there, you can see it, but it's not quite so obvious as when you've got your glasses on. So it makes the life a lot easier to see. In fact, you could see these as well as it happens. Because forestry trees do not turn brown. They have not sort of been adapted to serene seasons. But you get some interesting trees when you've been doing this one here's a date palm for example this is what one of the outputs of bees you can get some they will pollinate the trees the butterflies will do too but they're a lot slower what about this one it's enormous let's go and have a look at it this is a copper wood and a, and this is this is some it was crossbred from some other trees so if you actually have a look at that one um kept up wasn't it is this one here, Kapok Sapling. We can do an Armageddon trading, but we can do crossbreeding. So we can take a jungle one and a teak. You can actually find teak in the jungle and you can also crossbreed it. I know this is not part of today's episode. So you can take a dark egg and a jungle sapling and you can cross those and you get 10% chance of having a teak. But we'll do that another time. So we can, two generations, you can maybe be able to get one of these things. <laughs> a lot of wood. I actually did two. I didn't realise I got two. Look how big they are. And you've got vines on them. Anyway, so let's carry on with the bees. So, ooh, of course I forgot about this. So these are going to breed, and as they go down, it'll go down now. And what was the... So it's a shorter life, and the best one's the shortest. So what happens is, let's see if I can sh demonstrate this. I need a... I'm going to take some bees with me because I've got a few here that are like imperial drones. I've got too much stuff on me at the moment, but somewhere around I have got a port, a little backpack. I won't be in there, of course, with different things in it, with different bees in it. You know, I'll come back in a second when I found it. Yeah, I've got it on me all the time. It was in the backpack so it doesn't pick up the bees. So in this backpack is one of the forestry ones. So let's have a look at this. And let's have a look at the recipe for this apris backpack. It's a apris chest with some string and some wool around it. Not too complicated and some sticks. And but this is a bit harder to do. This requires five different combs. A chest and a glass. And it's actually just crafting so it's not too bad. bad. And you can go back. That was also crafting. But it holds quite a lot of bees, which is great. You need one. You need one of these if you're going out harvesting bees. So you, no, it's something like that. So if I to right click this, there's no, I've got no bees in it at the moment. Let's put these bees into this. You can just simply drag them across. Let's go and put this into. Let's just go and put this into this centrifuge, and that will then produce some. It'll come out here. As you can see, I'm getting all sorts of bits of bees in there. I've got 54 royal jellies now and one star I need 216 of these to make an alivary and same with the royal jelly I need a lot of honey as well so we've got a reasonable amount of honey now because as you can see I've got uh, one star actually these count as honey honey do count as honey as well so we'll come to that in a while I think because it's not ready for this episode so we've looked at those bees so oh yes I know what I want to do I want to show you the I need some other bees, don't I? Let's have a look. What have we got in here? I've got some common bees. I've got some cultivated bees. I've got some unweary bees. I want some diligent bees. I want one diligent bee. One noble bee. One majestic bee. And the next one up will be an imperial, I think. Imperial drone. I want an imperial drone and an industrious drone. So those are, those are the sex. So I'm going to draw those out for you. Probably best is to put them onto a crafting table, isn't it? So I've got a crafting table here. Let's look at this. So what happens is I need da uh, da da da. I'll tell you what, I'll put this chest down because bees take up a lot of inventory space. So let's just put this chest down. I don't think it'll work quite the way it does in mm, Tinker's construct table. No, you don't see it. So what? How this works is you start off. I've got to get these, I'll put all the bees into this chest now so we can and get the other ones out of the bag. 
So I think that, oh, it does work actually. I was control shifting, clicking those out as well, so we can put these into there. Right, so you start off with common. Let's just sort this. It doesn't really sort in any sensible order, just princesses go first. So we start off with uh, mundane bees. So we had, a, for example, those two, like meadows, and they will produce a common bee. So this is a common bee. So what, then they produce cultivated. So what happens is you breed these two together, and with a bit of luck, you'll get a common bee. So that's what the, if you show you the recipe for this one, you can see a forest plus a meadows or whatever will give us a common bee. So we've got a meadows princess with a forest, a modest drone, tropical or wintry or marshy will give a common. So we get the common. You've got a 15% chance of getting a common. And the next level up is to take a common plus another one of these bees. So if you take, for example, let's take that one out of there like that. And then you get a chance of a cultivated bee, uh, bee like this. And then after that, it splits into two. So we need, oops, didn't want to do that, did I? Oh, probably not got a very good table here. Let's tell you what, I'll be back in a second. I'll replace this table for a Tinker's Construct one that doesn't drop the stuff. See you in a second. Right, back again. So this time you can see them. Now those bees are dropped. We got picked up by the Apris backpack. The ones are dropped, so we just take that one here and take these out of that, like that. It doesn't matter if you're using the princesses or drones for this example, it's, it doesn't make any difference. So what then happens is we get this cultivated bee. So then we take the cultivated plus the common and we have a choice of two different bees that come out of it. So one will be the diligent, it's got the good names and the other one will be a, dilig, a, a noble. So we have a look at the recipes for these. So a common plus a, uh, a cultivated will give us a noble. It says here you need a common princess. I'm not sure whether the, you can get away with a cultivated princess and a common drone. I think you can. So that's the only recipe for that. So you get this out. But if I look for the uses of this one, if I do for bee breeding, I'll get con cultivated, as you can see, which we've already got. And the next level becomes these two here. So we don't get, um, so we've got the cultivated drone with a common princess will give us a 10% chance of a diligent and a noble. Now, noble goes noble, majestic, imperial, and as you can see, it's like a nobleman, a king and a queen, and an emperor and empress, and these ones are diligent. Next one after that is unweary, and the final one's industrious, so they sort of all link together <laughs> sensibly, I suppose, but you have this chance of splitting up. So what happens then? So let's go to our table here. So we've got that these two bees going together, which can produce one of these two. So you've got 10% chance of either one, of them. and usually one of them's hard. <laughs> it takes a long time to actually get them out. So then that's that generation. And then you take the cultivated with one of these two, and that will then hopefully give you a majestic on one side, so the noble goes to majestic, and the, um, yeah, the diligent goes to unweary as that level. So that then becomes these two. So then you take and the next one along is like this, of course. You take these two along and you've then got the chance of getting the imperial drone or princess. And the other one at the top is the industrious. So that's the three lines. And then after that, this is where it becomes the most important step. Once you've got these, they give you all sorts of effects. So let's have a look at this one. I've, I have got, yeah. Let's analyze these two bees. I don't think I've analyzed any of these, but they, you don't really need to. It all depends on what you've actually got, or how they've been crossbred. And you get all sorts of mutations, and the mutations are actually interesting. So let's have a look at this. So this is the industrious bee. Now I've managed to get this one to being the shortest lifespan. It's the fastest, it's a fast pollinator, but it's a slower production so it doesn't produce that many but it does have four offsprings so he gets four drones each time you you do that one will get used up so you, every every cycle you get three drones so that's useful because then you're going to be able to take those i should be able to put this into here as well this one isn't so good for generating but it's got this beautific 
effect, which is basically giving me regen. Uh, it produces less offspring, but you can get it better than that. And if I go and have a look at the ones I'm actually using it or making at the moment, I think I've got some better ones. Um, that's not that one. This is one of the ones. This is a little bit this one. Let's just take one of these out of here. Put the others back in and analyze this one. It's not been analyzed yet. I know it's the same, isn't it? So, but it's a normal lifespan, this one, which, which is what you want for later on. You want it to have longer life so that it it produces less bees, but there are nothing. There's nothing after this. You can't use. It's got no uses for the imperial bee. You can just trade with it, and it produces, obviously, royal jelly and twenty percent chance of dripping comb. And the dripping <laughs> dripping comb, the uses of that is to produce the honeydew when it's centrifuged. So you've got that hundred percent chance of honeydew and forty percent chance of honey drop. So which one of these is producing that? And the uses of this, oh, well, you can use it for glycerin melon and all sorts of things and like that. But I think the one we're interested with the squeezer. So it produces 100 milli buckets of honey, which we need for later on. Because the end step of this, of this, all of this work, will be to make an alvary. Let's have a look at the alvaries and into here, because they're the hard bit. Once you've got one of these everything becomes a lot easier now it's a three by three by three so you need 27 blocks like this and each one of these is an impregnated casing well, that's not so bad plus some scented paneling now scented paneling you need you need 216 of these so you need 216 pollen clusters and 216 royal jelly plus beeswax that generally ends up with a lot of beeswax and 500 milli buckets of honey in order to make one of these so it's going to take a long time just to get the resources to build the first alvary <laughs> and then then when you've got one you've got all these other things like you've got an alvary swarmer what that can do for you if i press shift does it tell me anything about that what this does is it makes um ignoble princesses you've got a chance of getting this one this is an alvary fan doesn't tell you that much about it and it's a bit useless really isn't it but what that does is it cools it cools down an aviary so if you've got a normal biome like we're in and want to cool it down we can use a fan to make it a cold biome and then we can have winter bees growing in next one's the heater which does the opposite and then you've got a hydro regulator which makes it humid and a stabilizer actually i don't know what a stabilizer does to be honest with you and then a sieve now a sieve catches pollen and pollen is great for building trees and then you've got these, I don't know why the valves came into that. Interesting. We've got the valves already. Oh, probably haven't written the whole thing in this. So those are the blocks you get for your alvary. So you have to make all of those. But first of all, you have to make these 27 of these. So it takes a long time. But then you can have your bees in your local vicinity. And you don't have to go trundling off like I have to go at the moment. Now, I've just about finished this episode. But... There's a lot to bees. Other than that, the, it gives you quite a few benefits. Um, I'm going to go the quick way. It's actually cold, but I've built quite a few. Um, wet, oh, portals. Gosh, my brain was going sleepy then, wasn't it? I've built quite a few portals in different places. So one of the ones I built was down here. Uh, this will take me to actually an interesting area as a slight aside i just looking on my map and i saw this i was going Ooh, what's this look at it it's um blue slime dirt and blue slime jelly you can just about see this yeah here i better make sure i've got this in my hand just in case so i've got some congealed blue slime and green, green slime here uh fortunately i don't have any purple slime uh, it would be nice to get that. Anyway, sorry, slight aside. I thought I'd show you that. I thought it was going past. So down here, and in fact, you'll see this is, it's a reasonable distance. I've got another, what time of day is it? It's okay, it's eight o'clock in the evening. Another portal to, this is actually comes out by a village, or very near to a village. And this village has got um, a beekeeper. Um, 
and a tree keeper I think they are not sure exactly but also I've got set up here some modest drones so they're producing at the moment um, modest drones are producing these and they should be getting out of here some parched comb and that works on quite nicely in fact this area is quite interesting because just over here this is more like swampland isn't it or is it jungle I think this is swampland because it's got on it um, I'm not exactly sure what it is to be honest with you. It's all up. It must be swampland because you've got lily pads and all the rest of it and frog croaking in the background in fact I did, if I did J you can see where I am here so we've got yes it is swampland you've got over here and over here must be is forest so what else we've got plains forest desert all around this area here is that a slime okay and the, the village is here and the actual base is how far away is base I can't just see it it's just covered up by all the other <laughs> markers I've got let's have a look control J um, not control J I want control yeah I do actually control Z for the waypoints let's have a look at the name and go back to base so we can find base <laughs> you see I've got a lot of markers set up here different villages different ores but base I don't, how many have I got? 339 markers. There's, two, there's 1,200 blocks away. So, and the other one I've got is the very final one, which I'll go, I'll go over to that and I'll see you in a second when I'm there, is the tropical bees. Yeah, just come out of my portal. The tropical bees are here, and the reason I've got this down like this is I don't want to get too near to that. So I've got 23 silky comb. Now silky comb is also interesting. Let's have a look at the use of this. It put in the centrifuge. In the centrifuge you get silky propolis with an 80% chance. And then the use of that is the centrifuge that again, and you'll get this silk wisp. And the use of this is basically you can make string, which is a bit useless, but in the carpenter you can make this fabric. There's a few steps, isn't there? And this fabric, then you can use that one to make basically bee protection, <laughs> which you can, which you're going to need. I'll show you why you're going to need that. Have I got any regen with me? Just in case, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to show you these bees. And what will happen is I get poisoned. Sixty-three of those. Oops, there you go. I'm getting poisoned now. Well, I don't want to be attacked at the same time as getting poisoned and that will take me down to about half a heart so while that's doing that let's just drink some regen <laughs> and that will give me the opposite effect of that so anyway that's it for this episode <laughs> so I get one red one and one green one going at the same time anyway I'll see you next time bye for now